Hey yo, hey yo, hello, 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 hello. Another one like the other one and some more of it. Right now, you're tuned in to Lick with Courage. And later on, you'll be tuned in to Lick with Courage. I know you're looking at it. You're paying close attention and you're looking at the patch. You're looking at the embroidery. And uh, you're thinking fair weather, fair weather, fair weather, however they say it. But I've never been that type of fan. Uh, the reality of it is, I've been a Warrior fan. Die hard, never try hard, win, lose, or tie. This is me until I die. You understand what I'm talking about? So, um, you know, it is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Tuesday night. Tuesday night hype is what it is. I am your host with the mother mo beethoven beethoven the ever, 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 ever innovator so now that i'm done with all the antics and you see what's happening so that means you know what's happening because you're probably questioning the gear but the gear has always been me and me with the gear you know what i'm talking about golden say warrior sacramento king the Warriors is down two. The Kings are up two. But it's still California. Yay. However, the topic of discussion with that is E Mother E40 finds a rally. A businessman. You hear me? A businessman who was handling business prior to entering the arena to view the game. Handling business prior to entering the arena to view the game. So, E40 Earl Stevens had just finished his business venture of debuting his Earl Stevens selection of vodka. And that's right, you heard me. Selection of vodka. Earl Stevens selection. The man has a cognac. The man has a tequila. The man has beer. The man has wine. The man has sparkling wine. So, why would someone of such status need to poke and provoke? You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, it's a lot of videos going around and it's a lot of videos going around without the proper content being displayed on these videos because unfortunately in the age of technology, you can make videos be whatever you want them to be and you shouldn't, but people do. Instead of just playing the whole thing, instead of editing and trying to make your name known and doing all these other things, you know what I'm saying? You should be just putting out the right content. People are not putting out the right content, right? So they're giving us whatever angle we want to see. So long story short, short story long. However, it may fit your timeline. Bottom line is, is that E40 was heckled and he responded. Now, for people out there, it's like, oh, why did he respond? He shouldn't have said nothing. Blah, 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 blah. This, that, and the third. But we're human beings. Most people will say something to address individuals to let people know I'm not the one to do that with. That's not, I don't partake in that. And this is as much partake I will, this is as much participation I'm going to give you. It's what I'm giving to you right now. But after that, it's done. And by all means, by all right, he has the right to do that. So let's not act like because of his status, he shouldn't have said anything. Sacramento Kings dropped the ball, literally. You know what I'm saying? Jalen Rose had already pointed out on the video that they fumbled this investigation thus far because they acted immediately on him knowing who he is. There's no way anyone in that arena did not know who he is like you've seen his face over the past five to seven years for sure if you don't know him for rap 
you don't know him for his business bitches with alcohol, his spirits, you definitely know him from being front row at the Warriors game. In the playoffs, sitting next to some high tier names. You dig what I'm saying? So this is not, he's not foreign to media. People know who he is, especially in the realm of sports because of where he sits and how he, uh, he's a Niner fan. He's a Giants fan, right? And he's seen and known when these teams are in that position to win and have been in the position to win. He's there throughout the season, playoffs, Super Bowls, finals, World Series. He's there. So let's not act like we don't know who this man is, right? He's been seen. So, you know, stop selling wolf tickets, people. Stop selling them because us real ones are not buying. Why are they woofing? Why are they barking? Cut the crap, man. Cut the crap. This this is this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. I don't appreciate it. Yeah, some people may see this and be like, okay, well, you represent the Bay Area. So, I'm not biased. The man wasn't wrong. Wrong is wrong. Right is right. If you're right, you can never go left. Hello, talk to me. I'll talk back. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, why we, you know what I'm saying? And uh, apologize in advance because I don't have any uh, E. 40 selections to present at this time uh, with the vodka out and about and ready for sale, ready to be sipped and, and, and displayed at parties and tabletops or what have you. I will have my bottle soon, even though I'm not a vodka guy, but I definitely will be uh, engaging in the E40 Earl Stevens selections for the vodka for sure. I will grab me up a bottle because I've had a bottle of everything else he's put out there and it's, everything has been pretty delicious, you know what I'm saying? Because this is Lick With Courage where we have a sip and relax. Where we have a sip and relax. You know what I mean? Slow motion beats no motion and therefore we have ourselves no commotion. See what I'm talking about? Yeah. Right now I'm sipping on that Deli on. Shout out to P. Diddy. And that's what we're doing. But yeah, I had to touch on that subject because it's a touchy subject and we're always put in a certain kind of light and we should not be. And when I say we, I'm not just talking about black folks. I'm talking about the hip hop community. He out there, front row, on the floor, big chain hanging. You know what I mean? Doing his thing. But nobody ever scrutinizes and tries to pick on those collars that be on the floor. But that's a whole nother subject for a whole nother day. But y'all know what I'm talking about. Talk to me, I'll talk back. Hello. But shout out to E40, shout out to the click, shout out to the whole yay area doing the damn thing. You know what I mean? Shout out to my folks, my peoples, because if it's Bay, I love it every day, all day, every day. Y'all talking about, hey, y'all talking about, hey, all day, every day, all day, every day. You know what I mean? Those that had an opportunity to deal with Bay folks, you know what that means. All day, every day. You know what I'm saying? Every day, all day. You know what I'm saying? When it's up, it's up. And that's how we get to it, though. You know what I'm saying? Staying hyphy, keeping it hyphy, hyphy. What class you in, hyphy? What grades you get, hyphy? You know what I mean? We always hyphy. It's a lifestyle. Know that. <clears throat> you know what I'm talking about? Moving on and moving along. So, these topics that I'm about to discuss at this time is going to be very touchy. Um... And, and very personal for some folks, um, whether you're political or not, 
it's just some things that uh, that are happening that are going on and I totally disagree with it so uh, there is a a bill right um, there is a a bill that had that uh, that's uh, on the, the the counter on the desktop if you will right to be passed and it's about uh, I think it's bill 262 265 let me let me find it out right now um, and the bill is all about um, violent rape charges right and 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 when people rape people that are inebriated incapacitated or unconscious both what have you whatever the case may be that that is not considered to be a violent crime now if a rape is a violent crime it's sexual assault to the highest degree in a sense or, or one of the higher levels of sexual assault so it shouldn't ever be downplayed as if it's never violent I do agree that there are a lot of women who lie about rape, but I feel that there are a lot of women who are raped who aren't lying about it. So uh, this this particular bill uh, is to be passed to make all rape a violent act, make them all felonies, just making sure that there are no gray areas with this particular act. And the fact that we are even having this discussion about it being considered a violent act all the time, no matter the time, when it happens, where it happens, how it happens, it's kind of kind of crazy. Um, I know a lot of people that think that, you know, um, with Cosby and, and uh, Weinstein, that, you know, some think, oh, they deserve to be put under the jail. Some believe that, hey, well, barter and trade agreements. Those women knew what they were getting themselves into, and what happened happened. Um, both of those takes on that is right, right. Both of those takes are correct. However, when someone is raped, someone is taken advantage of in a sexual manner, and they are sexually assaulted, that is a serious manner. When it happens, the way that they say it happens, right? It's also problematic in a serious situation when it's lied upon. So these are the things that we have to take into consideration when we're talking about rape. And in this country, rape is has, has become a business in a sense because there's so many claims put out there that where people are found not guilty in the court of law but then you have a civil suit right so you know it's just such a touchy subject because I can lie and still get money on the back end that's that that's weird to me uh, however let me reel it back in because we're talking about um, people being taken advantage of by their unconscious you know um, incapacitated inebriated to where you know, the thinking may be slow or non-existent because if you're unconscious, you don't even know what's going on. Um, so, when people take advantage of people who do not know what's going on, you're coward. Let's just call it what it is. Um, you're coward. You shouldn't be First of all, I'm just going to say it because it is what it is. All you men out there that are taking advantage of women who are too high, too intoxicated, too drunk, too whatever, to really uh, have any control over what happens, speak up for themselves, you're weak, you're a coward, and you shouldn't consider yourself a man. Because your average man is stronger than your average woman. So to sit there and try to bend a woman over, spread her legs, climb on top of a woman when she's obviously 
under the influence of drugs and or alcohol is weak. It's, it's garbage. If you can't, if you can't, in a sober fashion, talk your way into getting some sex, go buy it and have them act out whatever freaking fantasies you have. But you're a sicko, you're a coward, and you, you're weak, and you're a phony because you shouldn't be calling yourself a man if you have to take advantage of somebody uh, just to get some sex. That's, that's, that's lame to me, and that will always be lame to me. And if you don't like what I'm saying, I don't care because it's lame. Cowardly. Shouldn't be taking over. Taking vagina from a woman. Take for your own sexual pleasures, whether whatever you do. You know what I mean? I don't I don't know. People I don't know what people do. Right? But I'm just saying what I know from the news I get, the basic activity that they say happens. I mean, you, you're I mean, to, to take sex from a woman is, is crazy. To take anything from anybody is crazy. It's ridiculous. It's, it's really ridiculous. And what's so sad about it is that we have things like this. Bipartisan bill introduced to make rape of an unconscious person a violent crime. That should already be a violent crime. If they're unconscious, what? We shouldn't even be discussing if that should be a violent crime. A violent felony. What else is it going to be? What else is it going to be? I, I just don't understand why we've been having this discussion. You know what I'm saying? Like an unconscious person, an inebriated person, anybody who can't fend for themselves, any act you take upon them, one is cowardly and it should be baloney. It should be. At least I think so. It should definitely be a felonious crime for somebody to take advantage of anybody who is unconscious. I don't care if you take somebody, uh, somebody's wallet out their pocket and steal money from them. That's cowardly. Anybody that is performing cowardly acts should be punished to the highest level of punishment. Because it's weak. It's weak when you do weak acts. Period. Now some of y'all gonna look at this and be like, oh man, how can you say that with this? How can you say that with that? Just like this. I've never done anything weak to anybody. I don't believe in doing weak things actions to anybody I'm not talking about having a disagreement I'm talking about going and taking advantage of people knowing you have the advantage to take that's weak well let me go ahead and, and get off that you know what I mean but it, it's yeah that's this because this is this is something so serious this is something so serious but yeah I need y'all to look into that I need y'all to look at that. I don't have a specific link because there's so many links to this. Um, what I will do, I'll, I will hashtag it. I will have some type of connection to this particular uh, topic um, right there at the bottom. When you're checking out the video, there will be something. Um, it could be in the bio or to be in the description of the video or to just be in the context uh, for the video. But uh, yeah, um, the bill, bipartisan bill. Uh, to make violent felonies of unconscious rape. That's crazy that I'm even saying that. It just doesn't make any sense. That's a crime that should definitely put people away for a very long time. I can't even imagine, you know, somebody I know having that happen to them, letting it alone it happen to them when they're unconscious. It's crazy doesn't make any sense. Moving on. It's still touchy. Uh, so I believe this is in uh, Florida, right? So the Senate passes a six-week abortion limit with rape and incest expect ex exception. 
right? With rape and incest exception. So meaning that um, you have to prove that you were raped or there was an incest act that took place and or both in order for you to have an abortion at that six week or more mark. Right now, I, I can't really jog my memory enough to know what the limit traditionally was prior to this law, um, or what it is prior to this law, because it's in one state right now um, that has passed it. Uh, what the limit is before uh, your PCP will say, hey, you know what, you probably shouldn't look at abortion because it could be very damaging to your body in the future and continuously trying to have kids if you don't want a child right now. But this particular situation is targeting um, the six week mark and unless unless you have been raped or there's been incest or you can prove incest, right? So um, incest is a crime. So that's a mm, 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 right? That's a double edged sword. So, you know, you can't have sex with, and it goes to first, second, and third generation. So, um, fourth generation uh, and, uh, and beyond that, it's not considered illegal. Yeah, I said it. You heard me say it. Fourth generation and beyond is not illegal. So, I was having this discussion about this particular topic. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm trying to do the math. And I'm like, okay, well, so my cousin, my dad, and my uncle, whether it's boy, girl, whatever, we're first cousins. My mom, my uncle, my mom, my aunt, my uncle, my dad, my aunt, my dad. No matter how you look at it, that's cousins, right? They have a child, work first cousins. That's first generation, right? Then that cousin has a cousin, right? Then that cousin has a cousin, right? So now we're talking one, two, three. So now that cousin has to have a cousin, right? Meaning they have a baby, they have a baby, they have a baby. By that, I mean, shoot. It's a good law, I guess, based on how they're looking at incest to happen. I think it's a great law because by the time nobody will really get to that third generation to that fourth generation for it to be. I mean, it may happen. It just depends on how how early people have kids, but it's a good law for that. However, the incest part of it is is tricky because, you know, what if what if you have a 13 year old have sex with a 17 year old or vice versa whatever the the individual gets pregnant and it's an incest thing but you're you're like first cousin second cousin third cousin that's legal so that person could go to jail by that being proven so that's when it becomes touchy and I'm not saying that it should be accepted because kids will be kids or anything like that but it's crazy the law right these laws are kind of crazy however i do believe that nobody should be having sex with a family member however it does happen i get I, you know i don't know i that's that's just a weird area for me because i i you know i'm trying to see how that like full-blown sex to where you're procreating knowingly too it's kind of strange and then unknowingly is even stranger because that means you're taking advantage of somebody. So I, I don't know. I guess it works out. But you have to prove that it's rape. And you have to prove that it's incest in order to get the abortion um, with uh, at, the, at the six week or more mark. So once you hit six week, once you hit six week, which is a month and two weeks, so a month and a half, um, of being pregnant, you can't get an abortion unless you prove that it's rape or incest. The craziest thing about this is 
I don't know if women know that they're pregnant that early all the time. I just don't know that they do. I've heard a lot of stories of, uh, of women from women about how they didn't realize they were pregnant for a couple months, two, three months sometimes, but two months, that's eight weeks. That's too over the limit. So how does that even play out? Because if I don't know, then how can I act upon it? So the fact that this is even, I mean, there's so many different things to put our money towards and our energy towards than, you know, being so concerned what a woman does with her body. I mean, because we're not really, we're, we're still allowing hookers to hoe, prostitutes to walk at night and sell that badge. Because the laws are very lenient when it comes to that. And in some places, it's legal, even in this country. So I don't understand why we're putting such a, a, a focus on when and where and how a woman can do whatever she does. Body. And then you have people say, oh, that's, that's absurd to even be okay with a woman doing that with her body. That's murder. The black people being, being dead in this country every day, B, for a very long time. Multiple ways. Not just by the hands of law enforcement. Not just by the hands of, of, of the actions of the drug of the judicial system. But I mean, it's just we see it. There was a church. You remember? Stuff like that. But we're concerned about a woman saying yeah or nay to herself about having a baby. But people who know how to walk and talk and can see and can smell and hear touch things and know what the world is like are being murdered every day in multiple fashions but we're not really doing much to, to regulate that but we want to regulate when a woman does and does not have a baby how she goes about being or not being pregnant what? but we're not outlawing illegal sex because I thought that prostitution was illegal, but it's legal in some parts, in some places, and how they go about it. So if we're not gonna outlaw sex, and we're gonna pretend when we are going to separate church and state, people wanna use the Ten Command or not the Ten Command, I think the Ten Commandments, but they wanna use Bible literature, right? words from the good book of how we should and should not live and how abortion is illegal. Well, there's a lot of stuff based on the good book that are not right under the eyes of God, but we still do. It. And I'm not preaching, I'm just speaking. There's a difference. So what are we gonna when are we going to just hone in on one thing? Let's focus on one thing. Right? Let's focus on one thing. I'm okay with that. Let's focus on one thing and make that one thing as close to perfect as possible. But until then, leave the bullshit for the bulls. Let a bull take a crap. Why are humans worried about bullshit? Why are humans spewing bullshit? We're not bulls. We don't walk on our fours. Our crap is our crap, right? You dig what I'm saying? Did that go over your head? Am I talking a little bit above and beyond? Foolishness is at an all time high. Ignorance is a hell of a disease. Crazy disease. It's a wild disease. 
and it's subjective. That's the wild thing about ignorance. It's subjective. That's what makes that disease so deadly. Some people don't even know that they caught ignorance. They just talk ignorance and don't realize that, hey, man, why you got that? Because I don't want to breathe in that bull that you spew. You know what I'm talking about? You hear me? Do you? But yeah. Just working out this kink. You hear me? Do you? Have a sip and relax. This is Liquid Courage. I am your host with the mother most Beethoven, the innovator. Stop trying to tell a woman what to do with her body, man. There, there's not been one person telling us what to do with ours. We don't even have to get the bisectomy. I believe it's bisectomy for men, right? Bisectomy to get clipped. To get clipped. Nobody anywhere is making men stop shooting out them soldiers. We just, you know, get 72, 83, 65. Whenever it stop working for whatever, whoever you are, it just have to stop working. But nobody ever, I mean, it's never been a crime for a man to go wrong. Never. Never been a crime for a man to go wrong. You could cheat on your wife and go wrong, and it's still okay. You could cheat on your on your girlfriend, go wrong, and still it's still okay. You could cheat on your fiance, go wrong, and still okay, and it's still okay. But in the good book, from what I remember when I was young, coming up in the church... In the good book, cheating, right? When it's uh, when you, when you're married and, and you you go out on your wife or your husband, it's called uh, I think I'm drawing a blank right now, but y'all know what I'm talking about. That that's that's against the the laws of religion, right? That's against the spiritual law, the laws of God. So we're just gonna talk about. Abortion. I mean, we need to we need to pick one. Like when I say pick one, I mean like pick none of it, or pick all of it. That, that's the only option. It's all of the above, or none of the answers are correct. That's how we need to be. Make a law that's convenient. I mean, shit. As a black person, I mean, you know. It's laws that be convenient for others for years. That's been convenient for others for years. So I'm definitely against the convenience of any rules and regulations that's convenient for a, a certain people or a certain class within a certain people. Like, this is just ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. This app's just ridiculous. I don't, I don't even know what else to say other than the fact that it is just ridiculous. So the fact that you have to prove that you've been raped, or the fact that you have to prove that it's incest in order to be at that six week or beyond mark to get an abortion is wild. However, this is the caveat to that. This is what this is. This is this is this is this is this is this is, this is what I like about it though. I do like something about it, and this is what it is. I feel like this will put pressure on everybody in a good way. It can. It has the potential to. I don't know if it will, but it can. This is how. Instead of a woman being so reclusive about what happened to her and so embarrassed, she just may be pressed to be in a position to go ahead and out the mother level who harassed her, sexually assaulted her and raped her and impregnated her without her consent. And I feel this will, this may also, if it's, you know, depending on how it's pushed, again, has the potential to be great in this aspect as well. To put pressure on individuals to not be so uh, 
just so upbeat to go out and commit these type of crimes like raping a woman. That's weak. Garbage. Strictly trash ass actions for those out there raping people. I don't like it. Never will I. Never should I. Never can I. Never will I. That's garbage. Cut the crap, lad. No, it, it just it just doesn't make any sense for people to do that. So I feel like it will put pressure on those individuals on both ends of that, right? The victim and the culprit, right? The suspect and the victim, right? So I feel that it will put pressure on individuals in that regard to press the issue to have the person who's wrong locked up and the person who is wrong to maybe not do it maybe it may hinder them to not do it i don't know it's just a thought i it may not work that way it may work that way maybe everybody may rebel in the most awkward way possible with this particular bill i don't know um, but I feel like it has the potential to work in such a way to maybe lessen the crime. We'll see. We'll see. We will see. But uh, yeah, you know, I'll post a, a link of some sort about this as well. You know what I'm saying? In the video description, maybe somewhere in the bio, but there will be some context to this. Uh, so look forward to that. And you can look it up and go down a rabbit hole. Your Self. All right. So, in the meantime, in between time, you do your thing and I do mine. You know what I'm saying? 50 years of hip hop, still celebrating. Have a sip, swing glass. Right now, let's go, y'all. So, are you ready? Ding, 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 ding. Winner, winner, winner. This topic is brought to you by Spirit Aficionado. Stay tuned. It's free to show love and support to me. Liquid Courage is what you tuned into. Visualize to realize across the board. Except for IG, it's going to be uh, underscore visualize, underscore to underscore realize. All right, so if you can choose one superpower, what would it be? You only could choose one. You can't give it back. You, there's no exchange with anyone. You can have one superpower. What would it be? Then I like to believe that I can just go ahead and answer that question, but I may have to ponder a bit. For just a moment, see? Give it to me, because I'll give it to you. Let's see. Hmm. You could only pick one superpower. What would it be? What would it be? I thought about read mine, but I felt like that would be very stressful, because I would know too much. Know everything. The good and the bad. And I don't know which would outweigh which. Which would outweigh one or the other. Excuse me. So. I think I would go with only one superpower. It's always been this. And I asked a colleague of mine. I asked, you know, an associate. And um, they chose teleportation. They chose teleportation. That's always been one of mine. And when he said it to me, I was like, oh, like Nightcrawler from X-Men. Because that's my favorite character from X-Men. It's Nightcrawler. It's Nightcrawler, then it's Gambit, right? Um, but if I, if, I'd ha if I was to choose a superpower...
it would probably be it's I don't know it's a toss up it's a toss up between teleportation and invincibility being invincible not invincibility to where I can't be harmed but invincible to where I can't be seen invisible is what you so it'll be to be invisible or to teleport. And I've always been tied and locked into the two. Like tied next to them. Like they're neck and neck. I can't I can't really I can't really get rid of one for the other. So for me, choosing one is kind of hard. Uh, because I don't know. I I I I've been weighing all my options and I don't know which one would be better. Uh let's see. Let's see. I am going to go with. I'm going to go with teleportation. And the reason why I'm going to go with teleportation because since a kid having this discussion, right, a lot of people want to be invisible. And I've always wanted to be different. People chose Michael Jackson, I said Prince. I've always just been that person. You know what I mean? If Prince could dance, ooh, Michael Jackson might be in trouble. You know what I mean? But that's a whole other conversation for a whole another day. Let me reel it back in. So teleportation. Here's why. Here's why. Because I when you can teleport, it's it's an unexpected transition of events, right? Like a teleport, say something, do something, teleport, do something, say something, teleport, say something, do something, teleport. It's almost melodic teleportation because it could just boom, run. You don't know if it's going to happen on the one or the two. You know what I mean? It's, it's just teleportation is very mysterious. Super mysterious. I don't know how in tune you all are with with the invisible man, but the invisible man was invisible until he wasn't. And then people can say, oh yeah, but you can teleport till you can't teleport no more. But you teleportation is usually just boom. You teleport. Boom. Oh, teleport. I'm trying to remember what show or what movie is that where they close their eyes and they imagine something. There was a movie about teleportation. Right? This, I mean, you teleport, you just tell, you think it, and you're there. Boom. That's that's why. So I think for me, teleportation would definitely be the superpower to have. I mean, just imagine you on a date. You're like, oh yeah, baby, where are you? you know what I'm saying? What, what what's on your bucket list? You know what I mean? And you teleport, boom, right there. What's on your bucket list, baby? Oh, Santorini, Greece. Boom, we there. You know what I'm saying? Having some fine wine in due time. Ain't nobody gonna be able to beat me. You feel me? Because I could teleport and get there. You know what I mean? Teleport and be there. Got the best seat in the house. Ah, ain't even gotta be in traffic. I dream a genie. Ah, excuse me for in the mic. But you know, all that. All that. For you young kids don't know about I dream a genie, you feel me? That's what Google is for. Go read a book or something. Come on. Get the game on. For my old heads out there. <laughs> you know what I'm mean? saying? Uh, was that a dream of genie or was that the bewitch? I don't know. Who is the twinkle of the nose? I don't know. But even the day was both teleporting. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Teleportation is wild. You know what I mean? Real deal. If I could teleport, you feel me? We on go. Have a sip. And relax. You know. Hello. Beethoven. Feeling myself. It's still warriors though, you see it. Warriors on the heart. Warriors on the mind. I'm talking about. And again, shout out to E40, man. Big love to E40. And we're always supporting you, man. E40 has tons of support. Wrong or right? 
that's the guy. I don't believe he was going in the situation. Uh, that was just a little small time, go time intermission. But superpowers, what would yours be? Teleportation for me. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I thought about like running fast like the Flash or, you know, what's his name? Dash from Incredibles. You know, that's cool and all. But, uh, teleportation. Does it get the job done? Like, you being a superhero about, they don't want none of that. You know what I mean? All I gotta do is get up and bear hug you. Ah, bah, 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 bah. Take some hits, bear hug them. You know what I'm talking about? Teleport. Ugh. Drop your ass over a volcano. Then ah, teleport up out of there. <laughs> you know, I already thought this through, as y'all can see. You know, like, teleportation is sickening. Batman can't beat a teleporter for all my DC fans out there. And Superman probably can't beat a teleporter for all my. Uh, superhero fans out there. All my DC fans, Batman, Superman, dust. For my Marvel fans, yeah, y'all gonna bring up all kinds of people. But if they not teleporting, they're done. They're done. Let me see Venom whoop a teleporter. Yeah, that's what I thought. Venom ain't whooping no teleporter, man. I don't even Magneto ain't whooping no teleporter for real. Heck nah. Heck nah. It ain't happening. It is not happening. Please comment. Give me a Marvel, a Marvel superhero or a DC superhero that would eliminate a teleporter. Let, let, yeah, that would eliminate teleportation. I want to know. Because I used to read comments when I was was knee high, you feel me? Boop, when I was down there. But uh that ain't the case. I'm up here. So I forgot. <laughs> you know what I mean? But when I was when I was me and my brother used to read read them comics, man, and it was some bad superheroes in the NDC universe and Marvel Universe. But who was smacking up a teleporter? Y'all tell me. Who was whooping teleportation? Who's beating that? Who's the who's defeating that? You know what I mean? So what is your superpower that you would choose? Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know below. This is Liquid Courage. I am your host with the mother-loving most, Beethoven, the innovator. And um, right now, uh, sipping on this here, De Leon. You know what I mean? Uh, next time you see me, maybe or maybe not, uh, I'll have that Earl Stevens vodka, some of that E40 special, you know what I'm talking about? And um, that's going to be the name of the game next time around, you understand what I'm saying? Uh, but uh, if not, it will be coming, I will be I will be giving it a taste and a, a review and seeing how it goes and and seeing how good and smooth this vodka will be, if it's gonna be a nice vodka soda thing or a straight thing, you know what I mean? Shaking martini or stir thing, you feel me? That's that 007 shit. You know what I'm saying? Say it backwards. I'll let your partner, you know what I'm talking about. But again, this is Liquid Courage. I am your host with the most. And um, I don't think there's anything left. Out of here, have a sip and. Relax, please.